Some glimmer of relief here for working families in Monroe County as the post pandemic child care crisis persists. There are plenty of barriers families face when it comes to child care access from distance to a center or caregiver between work and home to the sheer extraordinary costs of care. The list just goes on. Now Volunteers of America is opening up nearly 100 new slots for all ages, including infants. We're looking to bring in around about 96 children into our center, trying to fill 10 more classrooms. Dr. Junior Dillion is the president and CEO of Volunteers of America Upstate. A father for himself, he tells me expanding access for child care was not a hard decision to make, as it's the VOA's mission to address and meet the urgent needs in the community. A recent $40,000 grant from ESL also helped to finish final furnishings needed in order to make the classrooms available. Private pay for students is about $300, but to reduce the barrier of the cost, there are options for families. Rochester itself, poverty rate is high. Um, I think it's fifth in the nation. So we do take subsidies. We do work with families, help them get connected to DHS. We will work with them step by step. And actually most of the children that we receive here in our childcare program are subsidized either at the full rate or very, very low cost. Many parents, especially mothers and especially post-pandemic, are forced to reduce their working hours or leave the workforce entirely due to the unavailability of child care. Jeff Pierre is the CEO of the Monroe County Child Care Council, who explains to me there has been some growth in the last two years of slots opening up again. Monroe County also offers support for eligible residents to care for a loved one. So we've seen a bigger jump and increase in what we call legally exempt care. That's where family members take care of other family members keep them home and that is a good alternative because they could get paid through the subsidy to do that. And Jeff Pierre also adds there are conversations happening at the state and county level to get more businesses to get on board with creative ways to also better support families. As for the Volunteers of America new slots, that's first come first serve basis. For now reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, News 8.